Fresno County ramping up their efforts to slow the spread in disadvantaged communities. They will dedicate $5 million from a portion of the CARES Act funding to enhance contact tracing, education, and resources. Our Medeiros Bab joining us live from the Fresno Metro Black Chamber with a full breakdown of how the money will be distributed. Medeiros. Well, the money will go to the largest nonprofit locally, which is EOC. They will then be working with 17 different organizations, including the Black Chamber, where I am at right now. The goal, enhance safety and trust. The COVID pandemic has hit our most disadvantaged communities the hardest. In downtown Fresno County, partnering with the Fresno Economic Opportunities Commission for our African-American community for approximately $1.6 million. And then we have an extra allocation for approximately $3.9 million to target our immigrant and refugee outreach efforts. The EOC will work with community organizations to train contact tracers and provide testing, transportation, and quarantine resources. We want the community to feel trust um, and that their, their information is not going to be shared, that ICE is not going to be coming to get them, that we provide the support that they need to be quarantined to keep their family safe. Education on the danger of large public gatherings will be a key focus. Supervisor Brian Pacheco says Skaggs Bridge Park had around 1,000 people this last weekend. That is a huge issue for us because there was a person there. Uh, I'm sure there were multiple people there that have the virus, and now there are many people infected today because of that. We really need to do the public outreach and the community education. We need preventative measures or we're never going to get past this. Now, the sheriff's office was at Skaggs Park trying to make sure that people were spread out this last weekend. Reporting live from downtown Madeira's Bab, KC24, local news that matters.